Well, this is the Music Storm Podcast, where we discuss music from so many angles, from artists, producers, to listeners, but with the main interest with the music industry as a whole. Today, we got Rui. How are you doing, Rui? I'm doing great. Thank you. Doing great. How about you? I'm doing pretty good, man. Like, listeners probably don't know you, of course. Start off, like, where are you from and what do you do, Rui? So, hello. I'm I'm Rui. I'm from Portugal and uh, I'm a graphic designer. I mostly work in the music industry, mm-hmm. and I design mostly album artwork and merchandising. Nice, nice. Like, when did you start getting into, like, graphic design and everything? Okay, um, that's a good question, because mm-hmm. I never have um, the desire to be a graphic designer. Yeah. I knew I, I knew I always wanted to be part of the music world, because I've been... A deeply passionate about music since I was like maybe 15, 12, I'm, I'm 20, 28 now. Um, so when I started liking music, I always wanted to be part of it. But to be honest, I never took strides in it. <laughs> I yeah. wanted to be a computer, I, I wanted to be a computer engineer because here in Portugal, it's kind of hard for, uh, for uh, to have a music career. Okay. Uh, I, I mostly listen to metal. So oh, okay. it was kind of, it was kind of tricky. So when I got into college, I took a multimedia degree. And in that, in that, in that degree, uh, it taught me a lot about of different things. For example, 3D, programming, photography. And uh, the point of the degree was for us to choose a subject so that we can take a master's. Okay. I never took a master's. But when I graduated, uh, I started um, working on, in a company doing graphic design. I, I did flyers and Facebook posts and such. Mm. When uh, and that was a point when I kind of started liking designing. I started doing wallpapers for bands I, I loved just for fun. Yeah. And my, fr- my friends re- really liked them. One day I decided, I found out I could transcribe those same wallpapers into clothing and my friends again really liked it so i thought hey let's keep trying and i did and i keep try keep try and up until 2018 october my fa- thankfully my favorite band called silent planet oh, okay so yeah so one of my saw so one of my designs and uh, bought it bought it i that that that, that lit of that lit a flame in me I kept working, and in 2019, um, I got my big break, so to say. <laughs> so to say, yeah. Um, a band, a band called Casey. Mm. Uh, um, uh, called it, called it quits. Uh, in, in 2019, they split, mm-hmm. and I and they hired me, a complete mm. novice, mm-hmm. hired me to do all their merch for their final tour, and from that point on. I got more and more and more clients and I quit my job at the time. And now that's my job. (laughs) That's that's great. Like who's your favorite bands that you've been like designing with, I guess. Uh, So my favorite band for a long, for as I said, for a long time has been um, Silent Planet. Uh, Silent Planet. And thankfully uh, I'm their main, now I'm their main uh, designer for the, for clothing, for clothing, for clothing. They have other designers who, who I think are better than me that also designed for them. But thankfully, I, I do most of it now. Okay. I, I also, I see you wearing a Bad Homers t-shirt. Yeah, and I, I had to do it for the occasion, Rui. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Thank, uh, it's funny it's funny you wear it because I, I, I was talking to Noah, the vocalist, five minutes ago. <laughs> oh, really? That's kind of funny. Yeah, funny. yeah I'm, I'm doing more, more of the merch now. Oh, okay. uh, Okay, so Silent Planet, Bad Omens, Kingdom of Giants, uh, Black Bear, which is the soft metal, but yeah, I really like him. Um, Loath, I did some of her merch. Uh, let me see. I always forget. Varials issues. Tons of, tons of bands, thankfully. You just thankfully. have a back catalog of all yeah. these bands and you just don't know uh, It's crazy. It's yeah. crazy, but yes. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Do you think you'll go off of, like, not the metal scene or the rock scene? Will you go on, like, country or even pop at some point, even? Uh, yes. Uh, I, I hope so. I hope so, just because um, even though I mostly like metal, uh, I also like pop. Not so much country, but, for example, I really love pop. Yeah. Uh, for example, uh, let me give you this. Um, 
Ariana Grande, I really love. I love the 975. I yeah. Uh, so I love to branch out because I think their their style is really outside of the box, mm-hmm. and they everything they do is kind of different. So I wanted to take my step in it, even though I've made merch for some big pop artists, for example, as I said, Black Bear, yeah. Internet Money, uh, nothing. Trevor, Trevor, Trevor Daniel, Trevor Daniel. Daniel, okay. Yes, I, I, I only did one. It was on a it was a collab with Selena Gomez, and okay. I did I did yeah for them, cool. which, it was, which is pretty which is pretty cool, pretty yeah. cool. That is really yeah. cool. So like I know that you're a graphic designer, but like for like why haven't you started like a band or have you not thought about making music at all or no? Yes, uh, I when when I was eighteen, I got a, a drum set, so I played drums. Uh, by playing drums, I mean really badly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm real. Uh, yeah, because uh, it was funny. It was a funny thing. One of one of my best friends called Gustavo. Mm-hmm. He, uh, I've been a friend. I've been his friend since second grade. We've been friends since for. And at a point, said, "Hey, Hui, let's start a band." Uh, but we were young kids, and none of us. Only he played an instrument. Played an instrument. He said, "Hey." Oh. You wanna play drums? I'll I'll find you um, a, teacher. a teacher, and yeah, he found me a, te- a, a drumming teacher, and I started taking lessons. I started really liking drums, and I got my drum set. I, I now the drum set is at my parents' house because mm. I moved in with my girlfriend. So, uh, okay. so my, we have a small apartment, so there's no drum set here. Uh-huh. And uh, to be honest, I I got kind of um, me and my teacher. Uh, I start. I, st- I stopped taking lessons because I got into college and I didn't have much time. And I'm one of those. In terms of music, I'm one of those. Um, how, how, um, how can I say it? Uh, I didn't know what to do without the teacher. Oh, so, okay. Yeah. So I know there's a lot of th- drummers learn learn online and such, but I couldn't do it. I and to be honest, I got kind of. Um, I kind of left it. I, I, I play drum, but I'm not really good. Mm-hmm. I kind of stopped. So yeah, but, but, but I always I lo- always loved music, and mm-hmm. thankfully I I I'm, I'm now part of part of the music world in a way. Yeah, so that's pretty that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Exactly. Like I love yeah. that you're a graphic designer and you're in the music industry. I love that. Maybe you could yeah. get into like the drumming. Maybe in like the future yes, again. Yeah. I thought of getting um. Uh, electronic kit right to start starting again because i know because i'm part of the music world um i've become friends with tons of bands yeah and tons of drummers that i look up to for, for example one of my great friends now is austin from the band lorna shore i don't oh, know if okay. no i've heard yeah, the lorna name shore. yeah yeah it's def they are def core they are super heavy mm-hmm. and the drumming is Really, compl- really complex and complicated, but I've become great, great friends with him, and I'm sure I could learn talent from him. So I thought about in the future, when I when I have bit, when I have some more free time, I'll buy buy a Linux electronic kit and start uh, training again. That would be cool. I want to see a Rui drum cover of like a band <laughs> or something. Like... Yeah, even <laughs> Silent Pan. That would be a good cover. Oh for yeah, you. the those the drums are, are really complicated. Really yeah. complicated. But I, I can give it a shot if I if I learn if I learn I gotta I gotta because I'm I'm really bad but <laughs> if I learn like maybe maybe <laughs> maybe maybe it'll be fine yeah but yep. what got you like really in like music graphic design though mm-hmm. uh, in music or in graphic design in general so like I guess in, in general in general so that and then I guess go into music graphic okay graphic. no it's, it's it's simple it's simple um I think uh I started liking music a bit late. My friends already liked a lot, and I never liked music. And it, it never, it not that I didn't like. It, it, I didn't care for music. Okay. For me, it meant nothing. I listened to it on the radio, and one day my uncle uh, gave me an Apple Shuffle, those little ones. Oh those, yeah, those little ones. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And I didn't care for it. I gave it. I lent it to my father, and he he used it. Uh, one day, my friend sent me three songs. That I'll never forget. Sent me three songs, and those were the songs that started my passion for music. It was um, Linkin Park in the end. Oh, great! It song. was I Write Strange Not Tragedies by Panic at the Disco. Okay. And it was uh, uh, I, I think it was Remember the Name uh, for by Fort Minor. 
that okay. in that is that is that side project of Mike from um, Linkin Park. Yeah, and and that's when I started like music. Um, the thing the thing about me is that I don't uh, this kind this this kind this may sound kind of uh, douchey, but I don't love music. I'm deeply obsessed with it. Like that's good. It do, like um, I knew every band, every band member. My my school books were all lyrics, all photos of bands I loved. Good Charlotte, for example. For Good Charlotte was my first was my first favorite band. Was Good Charlotte. I knew everything. I wore clothes like them. I wanted to be. I wanted to be like them. That and that was what what caught my fire. With excuse me, with graphic design, um, it was as I said something that came later. Came later, but uh, f when I started doing, when I started creating, like. It, it, it was crazy because all the bands I looked up to that I always saw on the internet because let me let uh, let me say that in Portugal mm -hmm. in terms of metal before the virus of course yeah, before the virus, before the virus. We, 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 before the virus we, we we used to get at best five metal shows a year at best oh wow a year so for us oh, for for all of uh, all of us fans having a band like being part of the music or having a band here in Portugal was like um, a Huge. holiday for us. Yeah. It, it's a holiday like we, we I live in the upper part of Portugal no, not the upper the northern part of Portugal in Porto it's not the capital capital is Lisbon that's at, at, in the middle so most concerts go to Lisbon and we would go on trips just see the bands like it was something it was almost a holiday for us and for me uh, it's kind of it's kind of strange because Seeing band members, seeing and seeing, and seeing the bands that I love, and being able to talk to them and being able to to be with them, and it's so foreign. It's so foreign for me. I'm always start struck because, for me, it was always so so distant. Yeah. It's a kind of like it, it kind of like a music star, a kind of movie star. I mean. Right. Right. My movie stars are musicians. I I love movies, but my main passion <laughs> is at music. music. So. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. So th that's how I loved. Uh, that's how I became really liking graphic design. Not all, not always. It's something that's eternal. Okay, okay. Um, clothing will disintegrate, but music will live forever, at least on the internet. Exactly. Will live forever, and and it's crazy. Like, at least in albums, the bands, tons of bands that I really like, like have my my art. It's it's crazy. It, it, it's it's still a dream for me. It's still a dream. Yeah. Like for me, I'm a photographer, so anytime I see a band in concert like even for myself yeah. when i got to shoot bad omens for myself as yes. a photographer i was starstruck because it's yep. a cool experience getting to see yep. these bands that you followed for so many years and getting to see them even for yourself if they're wearing your merch you're probably oh, starstruck yes. dude yes <laughs> uh then uh the first time the first time i saw my merchandising in real life mm -hmm. was let's see let's see uh I was. It was in 2019. In like, I think it was April, because in April Casey was doing their final tour, and right. as I said, I designed the merchandise for. I designed the merchandising for that tour, mm -hmm. and on the on their final date for their or European tour, it was a, it was that date. Then they they traveled to America, and after that show in America, they were, they were over. Yeah. So, I noticed that the last show it was in london and it was on a saturday and i was working I, I was still working at the company and i said wait i'm gonna fly to the uk and see see, see that show yeah so i did i saw the show and it was uh, it was crazy it was crazy like so many i i remember i remember being in the show and then looking just looking back and seeing like four people with my t-shirts i was like that's great it it it, 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 it it brought, brought, brought tears to my eyes because I loved music so much. It's like it's crazy. It's crazy uh, event to put your trust in you and mm -hmm. some um, and the artists you always loved so much. Yeah. For me, yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy to think that you got something that you absolutely love and cherish, and someone yeah. wearing that right in yeah. front of you. Like, did you go up to those people and like, yo, I designed that? A few, a, f a, f a few. Like, I remember a sweet couple was discussing the items to get yeah. and for example uh, let, me, let me say it, there were six items i designed four so not not all of them but yeah i designed four and he, he was chosen and i told him and i i'm all I, I i don't try to be creepy but i said hey choose that one that's really cool choose that one and, and they laughed at me because i said hey 
choose that one. I designed it. And they laughed because, and uh, they uh, they said, okay, because I don't think they, they, they didn't believe it. Oh. So at the end, I st- I talked to the band. I took I took photos, and they and they as a gift, they gave me my items. That's they gave great. me everything I designed. They gave me. So I I walked off with like with like a, a pile this big with clo- of clothes. Like I I walked out, and and they were and they were uh, outside. That that couple was outside, they were just talking. And I said, wait. And they looked at me like, wait. You really did design it, and I, I told you. I told you. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. Yeah, I love that. Like, who are some clients that you want to work in the future? Mm-hmm. You think? Okay. Um, in terms of uh, in terms of metal, uh, thankfully I've designed for kind of kind of all of all of all metal of artists right now. Wow. Yeah, but no, uh, but and um, I want to do for counterparts okay. for era yeah. architects. Uh, May, August Bones Red, maybe, and then Parkway Drive the, for metal, because uh, th- those are the big, big guns yeah. that I, I have, I haven't, I haven't worked yet. Uh, I've been a fan of for years, years. My favorite, my, my, the first band that I love that screamed was, oh, was August Bones Red. Was August Bones Red? Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I, I used I and and it was my fav- my favorite drummer at the time. Um, so uh, outside of metal, I'd love to work with. As I said, I love Ariana Grande, so I'd love to work for. I work for her. Uh, I'd love to work for the 975. There's a small pop band that I really love. They're super small. Uh, called the Mille- called the Millennial Club. Okay. Uh, yeah, they are really they are really cool, really sweet guys, and I love to. If they if they're hearing this, let me hire me, please. Uh, <laughs> I love that. Yeah, uh, I, I don't listen to men to most to men too much outside of metal and of, outside of this kind of pop. But right now, that I think that's mostly it. Mm. That's mostly it. That's fine. Like, what would you be doing if you didn't do graphic design? Good question. Uh, when I graduated, when I graduated college, mm. what I wanted to do was um, film. For example, oh, shorts, okay. movies, uh, publicity. Uh, when, but when I got hired, when I got hired for that company, I did a few videos, not a ton, but most of it was design, designing, and that's how that's how I learned to do Photoshop more and more and more. Cool. Like, have you done like a lot of like video projects for some bands at all, or no? No, never. No. Never. Seeing, no, what? never. I'll Why be not? honest. I'm, I'm not really good. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. But I'm not good at all. R- Rui, yeah. that's why you practice, though. That's yeah, that's that's true. That's true. But but that that that's a good question, and and I should and I should. But thankfully, I'm neck deep in um, in uh, in work. Not for neck deep. I wish. <laughs> not <laughs> not, not, neck not deep, for neck. Yeah. Not, not neck deep. Uh, but I'm. I have tons of uh, merchandising to do. I have a few albums. That, uh, right, you do album covers yeah. too. How, yes, how does yes. that? How are you doing that? Like, what is like your go-to? Like, what is your favorites that you've done for album covers for some band? Okay, uh, let uh, most uh, up until this point, I've only uh, full albums, like physical albums. Yeah, I've only done um, maybe five. Five. Uh, okay. five. I've done two for outline outlining. Uh, Outlining color, it was an EP. It was two EPs oh, yeah. that that they come together. Like it's like a mirror. If you put, if you put them together, it, they become one. So in a way, it was only let's say I, I see one. I've all, I've I've all, I've also done one for a metal UK band called Vexed. Oh, Vexed. The album is already yeah. The album is already announced. It will come out in March, I think. I've also done. Um, I've done a band that that I can't announce yet, uh, and I've also done uh, a band that I think I can announce. The new Darko. Darko, Darko oh, is yeah, Darko. Yeah, I've done their all their new singles, all all their four singles, and I've done the the album that will come and the, that I can't announce, but it, yeah. it will come sooner It'll than come. later. That's fine. It will come. That's It'll cool come. though that you're starting yeah. to get into yeah. the album covers and everything. Yep. Or is there? I've any... I've done tons of singles. I've done tons of singles, but yeah. all full full body albums, mm-hmm. not a lot. Not a okay. lot. Okay. Is there some bands that you really want to like reach out to and try to get some? Albums um, uh, I'd love to work for 
in terms of albums, some of my favorite ones are the most simpler ones. Um, okay. So my favorite ones are, for example, the nineteen the nineteen the nineteen seventy five. Their album artwork, uh, they have their own graphic designer, so mm. I so I'm sure they wouldn't ask another designer. But I'd love to take my stab at it. Um, I love to work do for counterparts. Their st- their new style is kind of different, but then again, uh, they've always been super clean. Yeah, it's counterparts, and I love I love counterparts. I, lo- I, absolutely, I absolutely love counterparts. Um, uh, let me see. The cleaner the better, as I say. Uh, not sure, not 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 sure who bands I'd like to, but I love doing albums, and then he, having them physical physically is the best. Yeah. I love that. I love that. I've not seen your work for album covers that much, but I will for sure mm. check them out and everything. But no, no worries. For no sure. Worries. What do you think about like the mu- music industry as a whole right now? Like with labels, streaming, and everything right now. Like, what do you think about like it's hearing great. that kind of stuff? That that's a good, that's a good question. Um, mm. I think it's a really it's streaming made things so much different now. Um, the in in like in my work, I think now my work is more important than, than it was five years ago, because maybe not even five like seven years ago. Because since streaming, most people don't buy albums anymore. True. Oh. Almost no one buys albums. So, so in my op- in my opinion, uh, bands. Um, I'm I'm not a band, so I don't know. But I think most bands. Uh, where they get where where they get the most money is from um, merchandising, and that's why and that's where me and all merch designers need or have have stepped up, and really really make the best just the best because bands nowadays they can't tour and and streaming people don't buy many albums so. Clothing is what puts food food on food on the table, as to, as, to, as to say. So I think that that's the um, that's a big point. Like better better merchandising. That's I think that's one of the one of the big one of the big things. Mm-hmm. But what about like music labels and everything? Like, do you think like the music labels have been like screwing over artists at all, or do you think that they're helping mm-hmm. some artists with bands and everything? Mm-hmm. What do you what do you think on that topic? Uh, I'm. Uh, th- 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 that's a question I I don't really know how uh, how to answer properly because okay. I've never worked with much much labels, mm-hmm. but I've known I've heard that uh, some labels do end up screwing over bands, not just in terms of artistically, like demanding them to write a certain way, or or just uh, putting them in, in tours that sometimes they they're not the best or sometimes tours that won't give we won't give them the um, won't give them the, the audience that they need or maybe even in terms of social media and putting their work out there sometimes they don't put in the work but i've I, for my experience what i can uh, i've worked i've worked with one label big time that is sharp tone records oh, yeah. i've worked with them I've worked with them a lot. I've done tons of uh, merchandising for their, for all their bands and albums, and they have been nothing short of absolutely amazing. Okay. And from and uh, what I've heard from all their, for all their bands that they have, they all they all love them. So mm. from me looking from looking I'm looking kind of from the outside. Yeah. It seems that at least Sharp Tone, is a great pet. Okay. It's a great label. That's good. That's good. And, and uh, yeah, speaking more uh, a bit from our sharp tone, I believe sharp tone has the best. How can I say this properly in English? I think they have the best high for talent. Oh. They know where the talent. They don't know. They know who, who who is the best new band. They know who to who to take in under their wing. I think they have the real. They have the best scent mm. for t- metal talent. They they really do. They mm. uh, the sharp tone are absolutely unbelievable. Yeah, like. My what opinion. about like graphic designers that are in like your industry, the music industry? What do you suggest mm-hmm. like new graphic designers? What do you suggest that they should do? You think? Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, I think w- w- I think one of one big thing, one important thing that I always try to do is to truly understand what the band or client 
uh, needs or not 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 needs what the band represents and try to make uh, merchandising that truly speaks to the aesthetic and the message of the band uh, trying trying to really dig deep and see what little aspects they can take from the music from the music videos from their even from the clothes they wear that that's 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 something i do and try to really own in on who they are and try to make it uh on a, uh, and try to like uh how do i say and try to put it in the clothing that's one thing i try i try to do but on the other on the other hand uh doing merch is not is not only an art an uh, artistic avenue mm. you got always you can you can all you always have to take it to pay attention to them to the fans and what they like because True. you you make make an out you can you can make an item that you absolutely love but in a way you know that the clients won't buy and it, it's always a double edged sword in a way so that's that's how that's how, that's how I try to um, to think things and I that, that's how I try to design I like that and it's a good aspect even for myself as a photographer you need to find something that the band will like and if they have a t photographer like i know a lot of bands do and everything mm -hmm. you try to go almost in the same kind of style as what they have already as well right mm -hmm. so you try yep. to get some influence right there too yes yeah um how about like artists you think with the independent scene what do you think about like mm -hmm. that do you like that artists are going independent more or do you think that they should go more into labels what do you think i truly i truly i like the independent i like i really like i don't like the band that go independent uh, mm -hmm. again i'm i'm not sure i'm i don't i don't really know much about that yeah. about it but i think that most bands that go independent uh do great things do great things one one band that i know that that gone independent and that then did great things is a band that i never know how to pronounce but i'm gonna try it's hundreds i i don't know i i can't i i don't know it, it okay. is that band that you that used to be hardcore and now it's shoegaze it's undread hundred with a t and h at the end Dread. okay and reds uh, and i never know how to pronounce it i'm butchering their name i'm sorry guys but know. yeah th they for example they used to be um they used to be signed to i think it was equal vision and they and they were an hardcore band and they decided that doing hardcore was not something they liked so they changed gen uh, genres and now they play kind of shoegaze music and it, I think it was tremendously fun for the best. And their their new music is unbelievable. Their new aesthetic is unbelievable. So it was a great step. And that, that's just an example. But yeah, I think most bands that do go solo, I have to say, solo. Yeah. Uh, m maybe they have more freedom. I, uh, maybe they have more. And as long as the artist is doing what they truly love. I think that's that always speaks by itself. If you say, say if you put your heart to it, I think the the fa may, may, maybe some fans will not go with it. But if that's something you truly love, and that's something you can go to bed at night and think, I did well. I did. I did. Uh, I can sleep peacefully. <laughs> uh, yeah. I. I, I the, 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 that's how I look at it because sometimes I can design a, a item that I truly love. And I shoot the band, and the band say, uh, "This is not really what we want." But mm -hmm. if I love it, I'll say, "I'm okay. I can make another one, but I'm good. I'm happy. I'm I'm happy." And if the band, uh, and I think if, if bands do the same, I think it's better for everyone. Exactly. I love that. Have you toured with any bands before? I guess. Mm, uh, no, no. No. The, I I thought I I thought of that I I the idea, but. I started doing this free. Uh, uh, I started the. I started doing this full time in 2019 in May, and I I kept working. I kept working, and in December the world got shut down almost. So uh, I didn't have much. Uh, I didn't have much time. And in between May and December, I got some great clients, but mm -hmm. not as many as I have now. So I'm not sure. Maybe one day with Silent Planet because I've been great, great, great friends with them. And it's something I'd like to do. But in a way, I don't know what, what, I, what I've 
people I don't know do. what I do. Yeah, yeah, I don't know what to do because I only I'm good at design. Maybe I could maybe I could sell merch. If it if it was like a one month one month European tour, I could I, I'd be down for that. It, yeah, I I take a I take a vacation. I say help. I say all my clients, you gotta wait one month and I'll be back. <laughs> but I'd like I I actually would like that would like that yeah. a lot. You should reach out to the guys and potentially yep. do that. Yeah. Um, has the pandemic actually helped you? I guess more than before. I think so. Yeah. I believe. I, I believe so. I, I don't. I don't know if uh, if it was because I don't know if it was a snowball effect from all my clients. That, but I remember when the pandemic uh, struck really hard. I was I was kind of panicking because I, because I thought, well, I've worked so hard for this. I quit my job to be a graphic designer, and I'm gonna lose everything. And in like in a week, and it was one week that I didn't got any new clients, so mm. I started getting a bit anxious. But after that week, I got like five emails, and I think the pandemic helped me a lot, in terms professionally, of course. In terms professionally, it helped. I got. I think I've gotten double the clients, double. a lot, Lo loads, 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 loads of amazing clients, amazing. Yeah, I. This uh, this experience uh, truly changed my life. Like, uh, yeah, truly. That's good. Like, are you like overwhelmed? I guess, right? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is something that this is. It, it's funny because up until that moment that I decided to quit my job to pursue this full time, I never I never thought of even doing designing. But when when this thing when this wave started coming up and up and up, I said, I talked to my parents, talked to my my girlfriend, and I said. Hey guys, what do you think? I, I'm working at this job that I don't particularly love. I don't make tons of money. What do you think if I have a few clients now? What do you think if I quit and try to pursue this? And they said to me, Hui, you always dreamt of this. Go ahead. And yep. Yeah. And thankfully, it paid off. Thankfully, that's good. Yeah, I was wondering about like how how does your family and everything like you doing graphic design and everything. M my my parents are my parents all my friends are super are super proud. So they 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 always say, "Hey, we, it's amazing!" Like uh, I I remember you 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 um you sent so many uh, so many um because when I left college, uh, yeah, I spent I spent some time jumping from one job to the other because things were, weren't really working out. And they said, "I remember, I remember you, you worked anywhere you could. You always you tried so hard, and now you, your hard hard work paid off." I, I always uh, joke with my parents, say, "Remember that that d demon music I used to, I used to listen to, and you used to make fun." And they never make fun of me, but, but they yeah. say, "Oh, there's so much noise," but, but they say all they always jokingly. Remember that, mom. Remember, look at me now. <laughs> look at me. I, I I always joke with them about that. Yeah, like I have what is it, friends and family that are like, "Hey, what do you listen to? This is demon music." And I'm like, <laughs> "No, this is actually good music." I don't know. Yeah, it's like I don't know, but I guess your music influences has it really like shaped you as a designer? You think? I think I think tremendously, tremendously. Um, for example, um. Even though I always love metal, I never truly liked the metal merchandising. Okay. Uh, f because at like five, six years ago, the merchandising was sometimes like big, scary images at the front, or like kind of gory, or maybe those cartoons that yeah. dropped that head, for example. I truly never liked it. Uh, Ever, ever since I was, I, I always preferred kind of cleaner merchandising, simpler. And when, for example, counterparts drop their the album before this one called "You're Not You Anymore," they mm -hmm. signed, they started doing much cleaner art, uh, merchandising. And I thought, wait a minute, this is it? A band that does a band that that's heavy, but wears stuff I can I can use anywhere I want. Right. And that's and that, that's what shaped me. And Era to Silent Planet before I had to first uh, before I started doing merch for them, they also have really clean kind of streetwear merch, and I think that truly that that really really a lot that um, influenced my style a lot. Mm. Yeah, I what is it recently wore one specific band. I don't know if you know Capstan, 
but there's a band yes. yeah their merch i i love their merch and everything but mm-hmm. with their merch it's a lot more like clean and it doesn't look like a band merch and everything and mm-hmm. someone commented on that on like my shirt and everything i'm like mm-hmm. do you think the merchandise will shift again to something a different like breed do you think again or no Mm, that's a good question. Mm-hmm. Um, I Cap 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 Capstan. Uh, just uh, a quick note. Capstan has great merch, and who did the merch? Uh, also does some most. Not mer- he used to do a lot of merch for Silent Planet. Okay. His gym. Yeah. Okay. I, but yeah. Yeah. He is absolutely amazing. But um, I think a, any kind of art is constantly shifting, and it will come to clothing as well. What I see now. And that I think uh, will one day or another will fully take over is the vint is vintage style. Now nowadays, what's really what I what I see a lot of bands and and even big influencers, big pop artists is wearing vintage clothing. For example, Metallica, ACDCs, old truck, old truck uh, items. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I truly think there's a resurgence of vintage, kind of old designing. And I see loads of bands taking those influences. One band I truly think that's taking the kind of vintage, kind of old hardcore vibe is Knocked Loose, oh, for example. Okay. I think Knocked Loose has a great eye for aesthetic and their new, and their new overall aesthetic, not just merchandising, but overall mm-hmm. is really vintage. And I think we can all agree that Knocked Loose are completely trend centers. They are at the forefront of the hardcore scene. Yeah. And they will and, and they will of course influence all other artists that came after them. And yes, I truly think that vintage, even though it's a style I don't particularly like, mm. I prefer much cleaner, simple and that's much but we are all we are all different, so what what doesn't matter. Uh, <laughs> I I love the streetwear, the simple style. But I truly think that the uh, the new style that will come more and more and more, it's the vintage style. Yeah, I think so. Like even your designs, I love this design because it's something Thank I could like wear on a day to day basis, right? <laughs> yeah. And I could go out and it's fine. And people comment on it. It's like great shirt, Mikey. I'm like, yeah, it's a great shirt. And check out the graphic designer right here. <laughs> Thank so you. Thank you. Great. But yeah, it's it's great is there like any like small artists or any like big artists that you've been getting into recently for music uh, let me see uh the one artist that i as i work i don't listen to most metal just because metal is an is kind of an assault yeah it's kind of like it's always and sometimes i need to a bit more more peace uh, but I love metal. But it's a, it's, a, it's a, I think it's natural because a when you when you are working you don't want concerts. Brrr. So <laughs> I get you. The, yeah. So as I said, one uh, one of the bands that I love the most now it's a small kind of pop rock band called the Millennial Club that I absolutely love. Another band that I love that that's also kind of poppy. It has a Backstreet Vibes kind of a vibe. It's called Joan. Oh, okay. Joan. Okay. They are they are if if kind of dig, if you dig the Backstreet Boy Backstreet Boys kind of vibe, they are really mm-hmm. good. In terms of metal, uh, smaller not smaller but dark. Of course, mm-hmm. I gotta put it Darko. Darko. They are kind. They are not really small, but they are kind of small. Yeah. Darko. St- static dress are really good uh-huh. too. Spirit Box. They are not super small, but they yeah, are. Spirit Box. They are. They are. Box. Yeah. I love Spirit Box, and they are growing and growing and growing, and I think they are truly talented. Uh, this band is not really small and they blew up last year, but I'll say it again Load. Oh, Loathe, yeah. The, from, for me, it was the best album of last year, and I truly believe they are the next big thing. Uh, let me see the bands I've worked with. Let me see my list Thornhill, for example, another band is an Australian metal band that I truly think are immensely talented. They are, they are super young. They're like 20 years old, like 20, 21, 23. I'm 28. Like, oh, how wow. do these kids kind of play? I'm an old man. And, and, this, <laughs> and this, this, they're not kids, but how these young people, they are so professional and so absolutely talented. Yeah, I think I'm, I'm checking my, my clients to see if I have smaller ones. 
uh, yeah, I think that's kind of it. That's the it. smaller ones are that, I'm truly, that I think are truly big, okay. that will be truly big. Oh, yeah. The, honestly, the ones that you did know, I know pretty much a lot of them, so they will for sure get big, I think. I hope so. I hope so. I hope so, too. But what about, like, influencers, like, non-metal or non-music? How about, like, social mm -hmm. media influencers for merch? Mm. you think you're going to get into that kind of scene as well? I've... Uh, that's a good question. Uh, I've done for an inf um, an influencer, a beauty influencer called Daisy, called Daisy, and she is a she she does a makeup, she does clothing, and she's a truly sweetheart. And I did um, I did a, a, either line. I did for a I did for a streamer called Cruz Azar. She's a she's a female streamer on Twitch. She's really cool, and uh, and I did some items for her, and so far. That's it. I've I've I haven't heard much. In terms of influencer that I that I that I follow and such, I don't follow much. What I do follow is that even before I was a music fan, I've been a gaming fan. So oh, okay. I've been a gamer. I've been a gamer all my life. So what I what I'd really like to do is to is to do clothing item for esports teams. That's something I'd really like to do. One hundred thieves, optic, team liquid. Any of those teams, I love to take my stab at it because they are really streetwear, and that's something that, I, of course, I love gaming. I've been loving gaming since I was a young boy, so uh, I love to have my stab at it. That'd be cool, actually. Just seeing yep. your kind of design in a gaming scene. I love mm. gaming as well, and I'm a big mm. Cloud Nine fan and a hundred thieves. Fan. Cloud Nine, yeah, great, mm -hmm. great organizations. I love them. Mm -hmm. I was gonna ask you another thing. I just forgot what it was, but no worries. Yeah. It I don't. I don't watch. I don't watch loads of professional gaming. I watch more like streamers. But I. I. I follow a few teams and um, Cloud Nine. I, Cloud Nine. I know. Of course, I know them. But I don't. I don't see. I don't watch a, a none of them. No. Okay. Because no. They do League of Legends. They do yeah. Valorant. They, they do, do yeah. Counter Strike. They do Counter Strike. Yeah, all those those ones for yeah. sure. I don't play any of them. <laughs> I, will, I, I, will. I play. I play most. I play mostly Final Fantasy, uh, Destiny, Call of Duty. So that's yeah. most. Yeah, well, there's most some of the Call of Duty. Well, Hundred Thieves is getting back into Call of Duty. I yep. know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They got back a few months ago. Yeah, and I also watch competitive Halo a lot, so that's what I. Oh, I love Halo. I love Halo. I love, Halo so, much. I love Halo so much. My my, I have the new Xbox, and my my first game on the 360 was Halo 3. Okay. Man, fin one of my pro probably my first like is at my top three games of all time yeah probably that's the same thing yep. for me my top game is for sure halo i first started with halo 2 back on the original xbox oh yep i had ps2 so oh, i had ps2 okay. xbox 360 then xbox one by mistake because i should have gotten a ps4 but oh well oh i i, I no no nobody knew that xbox one would have no would have no um games huh? how do you say it no exclusives no, no exclusives no. Okay. yeah there's honestly, oh well yeah Mind, mind blowing how Xbox One failed so much, but well, nonetheless, uh, yeah, Halo, I absolutely love Halo 3, so yeah, I yeah. get you. Great games, I love that. Um, yep. how about like marketing for graphic design? Mm. How, how did that go about and everything? How is yeah. that going? Mm -hmm. For me, it was, um, how did, how did that I went when I started doing designing? I, I started using more and more Twitter. And I think Twitter, for me at least, and for many other um, um, artists, is a great way to show show off show off your work. What I did to market myself was, I went on Twitter, and I looked for bands that I, I loved, and then I knew that, um, and and bands I loved and bands I know that responded to fans on Twitter. Why? Because. While I was at home and creating my merchandising, I used to make unofficial. I mean, let's say I make an, an unofficial designs for pet omens. Unofficial. I create one, I put it on Twitter and tag them and say, "Hey, bad omens, I love you guys and I'd love to work with you." And I post it on 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 Twitter. They, if they respond to all tweets from all fans, they will most likely see my tweet. Yeah. And and they. And they might even not buy it, but just them liking it or retweeting it, they would. That would give me. It was like free marketing. 
yeah. uh, my design will be shown to turn off. And th that, that was actually how I got my first big client. I tagged, I tagged the big band with a design. Uh, that band did not buy my design, but they reach, uh, retweeted it. Casey saw it. Mm. They followed me and hired me. That, that's how I got my first big job. And that's what started this, all of this. So I truly think that we're is one of the best ones. I've heard that LinkedIn is also really good, but I don't know for graphic design. Yeah. So don't take my word for it, <laughs> but I've heard LinkedIn is great. I've heard also Instagram's good for it too. I don't know. Oh, uh, Instagram, I, I've heard Instagram. For, what I do for Instagram is uh, use it as my portfolio. Yeah. Instagram is, Instagram is my portfolio. Because if you want to tag bands, I think on Instagram is kind of trickier. And if you really, I think that for Twitter, if you really want to go out there and get to much people faster, in a way, um, Twitter is the best. Yeah, that's what I've noticed the last couple of years. A lot mm -hmm. more bands are getting more engaged into oh, yeah. Twitter with their bands mm -hmm. and everything. Yes. And it's very interesting on that. Like, mm -hmm. it took a big shift, actually, on why. Uh -huh. Facebook, it, it was first of all with Facebook. Then Facebook started, to, I think, started dying a little bit. Then Twitter came, then came came along Twitter. And when I think everyone got a really good grasp of Twitter, it took me a long time to really understand Twitter. But I think at least now Twitter is a great platform to show your work, show off your work, what you can do, your portfolio. I think I think Twitter is really great. Yeah, I think Twitter's the probably the best platform I've talked to even for like mm -hmm, bands mm -hmm. and artists and influencers yep. for sure. Mm -hmm. And yeah, that's about it, Rui. Is there anything you want the people to know about you for graphic design? Do you want any more clients or tell the people what you're about, dude? <laughs> of, I, I'm always down to work for any new client or any old client, anyone. So if you, if there's any anyone who needs clothing, who needs an album, album made, and if, please reach out to me. Uh, you, my, uh, my Instagram and Twitter are kind of tricky. I, I should I should change the names because it's my Portuguese name and I'm sh and all my clients are American and I'm I know it's tricky but oh well it's Rui P L R C at Instagram or Twitter it's all the same. So if you want to reach me it's it's kind of it's like that. I, I, I should change I should change the name but yeah, but yeah <laughs> I do I do any any kind of item you want. I try to do I can do kind of I can do any style, but I can do albums if you need. I'm here. I'm here to work. <laughs> I get that. But yeah, thank you so much, Ruin. Thank you for having me. Yeah, no it was problem, a pleasure. dude. It was fun.